The reason why people are moving from religion is because they realize they've been bamboozled. They realize that they've been taught symptomatic thinking. That means I just tell you stuff and it's not based upon nothing real. We know that the Bible and the, the Quran and all of them are not history books. It has nothing to do with history. It's somebody's personal philosophy. And what people are finding out is that what they thought they loved about Christianity, what they thought they loved about Islam, is ancient Kemet, the teachings that's coming from ancient Kemet. So as more people begin to study ancient Kemet and start learning the truth, start learning about who they really are is that these people who created civilization are their ancestors and those ancestors are still with us those ancestors are in our DNA so that's why there's so much programming to keep you in the matrix I want to keep you singing to Jesus I want us on your, I want you on your knees five times a day praying to Muhammad I want you doing everything to stop you from thinking about who you are and how powerful you are and when you see these images of ancient Kemet you see yourself so let me just say this again people are moving to Kemetic spirituality because number one it's not a religion I'm not putting you in another box I'm not taking you from the frying pan into the boiling water when you're in this box called religion your culture and your ancestors are become irrelevant in fact, you almost can't be faithful to your religion and still worship your African ancestors and culture. That is true. So that is suicidal in itself. Anytime your former enslaver gives you your religion, that's a problem. You are a continuation of your ancestors. You see, the ancestors aren't somebody in the graveyard or at the cemetery. The ancestors is a continuation of you in your DNA. They're with you. So what's so deep, Rich, is that your ancestors from the beginning of time is still walking with you every day. And you have the ability to tap into that information. So that becomes extremely dynamic. The idea that these ancestors are walking with you right now. And they are guiding you, giving you inspiration. But the Western world, through symbolic thought, is teaching you not to, not to listen to yourself. Not to talk to yourself. A, a person just told me, like right now, uh, did the ancient Egyptians worship the sun? I said, no, they give honor and reverence to the sun. Because without the sun, there's no life on this planet. So isn't that worth giving reverence to? Isn't that worth giving honor to? This can't go out of style. Spirituality can never go out of style. Woo. It is our essence. Okay, okay. Okay, so I need you to understand that. It's not, spirituality isn't a man-made thing. Religion is a man-made thing. I'm putting you in a box so, so that I can the, control you. Uh, some people say man created God. Man did. God is a man creation. You notice when I'm talking about committed spirituality, I never mentioned no God. Right, right, right. <laughs> God, man created God in his own image. And listen to the, when you look at the Bible, Rich, God is a jealous guy. Yes, yes. God chose people over another people. That's some, that sounds like some man stuff. That sounds like a twisted man who got a God complex. And, and he's ego tripping. And he creates him and, and he puts women, everything is her fault. Not understanding that he came from this woman. It always amazes me that you can tell me that woman came from a man's rib. How, how can somebody believe? See, that's the symbolic thought. What you got there? What's that? This is my new book, Menchu Hotep in the Spirit of the Magi. Uh, most people are familiar with my book, Spiritual Warriors Are Healers, which is used now in over 40 universities. And it's used under African studies, spirituality, and philosophy. You notice I said spirituality. Because spirituality frees you from the box. It says that the creator exists within me. That div we are divine human beings. We are spiritual, divine spiritual beings having a divine human experience. You are not your body. You are your consciousness.
So spirituality is trying to raise your conscious level so that you become one with this whole planet, become one with nature. See, let me say something else. Spirituality is always trying to keep you in tune with nature. Religion is trying to control nature. It's outside, it's outside of nature. Give me an example how religion is trying to right, control nature. Let me nature. give you an example. When I talk about the nature, the nature is your heartbeat. The nature is a water drop. The nature is the ocean. The nature is the earth. The nature is your breath. The nature is all that can be conceived of and that which cannot be conceived of is still part of the nature. Now, did you define God like that? God is a bug. No, I don't think so. I don't think nobody. I, but I define that's part of the nature. And that I am the nature. People get upset. Like if you said, I'm God, people can't even handle that. But if you say, I'm part of the divine nature, and I have the will and the ability that's unlimited. A man is as he thinketh. A woman is as she thinketh. If you think on a high level, you vibrate to a high level. What, didn't Jesus say in the book, if you're following it, that you are capable of doing all those things that I do and, and even more, more? And more, and more, and more. So that's what I'm talking about. He was talking about spirituality, they, not religion. They, they, On this relief, brothers and sisters, you can see many concepts where they came in, as I said, like scavengers and picked different pieces. On this particular relief, you can see where the Western world through Judaism took a piece of a concept of the creation story from. You can see where the Greek philosophers took a concept of Greek philosophy from. And you can also see where Christianity took a concept, European Christianity took a concept from. So let's break it down. Again, carved in stone on the temple of Aset, right here on the island of Philae. It is here. It tells where the Western world literally came like scavengers and took various scenes to make up the Western world. And one of those scenes is we see that Hermes Trismegistus in Greece, Greek mythology, they literally took it from Tahuti. It is here that our ancestors had a study from the 42 books of Tahuti representing science, law, and intelligence, who was represented as the Ebus bird that you saw. We saw those little white birds that we saw come yeah. over here. So our ancestors looked at nature. We didn't worship the bird, yeah. but it was an attribute of science, yeah. attribute of intelligence. Tahuti writing down the deeds of our life on Earth as we lived here. This is where the Western philosophical thought, Greeks took their concept of Hermes Trismegistus from Tahuti, now called thought too. So we see uh, Judaism took uh, God Kanum fashioning man out of clay and mm -hmm. called him Jehovah. But notice the God Kanum fashioning man on the potter's wheel mm -hmm. out of clay. This is where Judaism took a portion of this to make up their Genesis story with the Sanhedrins around 250 BC. From this relief right here of God fashioning man and woman on the potter's wheel. And they took other concepts of atom from Heliopolis creation story or the city of On to make up their Adam as a man when actually it was Atom the sun. Mm -hmm. And we see with European <laughs> Christianity took from the goddess Isis and Horus and made up the European, again, let me express, the European version of Mary and Jesus. Copied directly from these re reliefs right here. So you got Greek philosophy where he took from Tahuti and called it Hermes Trismegistus. You got the Jehovah uh, Genesis creation story and the Bible, where they uh, took from Canum, fashioning man on the potter's wheel out of clay, and they turned it into making man out of clay, Adam out of clay. And you also got Christianity right here showing Isis uh, uh, lactating or breastfeeding the holy child Horus, who was born of Immaculate Conception and Virgin Birth. Mm -hmm. okay. Three concepts just from this one relief. Wow. All in stone. You see? All okay. carved in stone.